Hi. Today I'm going to answer a question, two questions actually about writing. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked the question. It's not here with me, but I wrote it down somewhere. Anyway, first part of the question is about writer's block. When you want to write but you don't have an idea, what do you do? I mean, I'm not an expert, duh. But here's what I do. I just write. I just sit down and I clack away on the keyboard. And sometimes it's trash and so I delete it and sometimes it's okay. And sometimes it turns out surprisingly good because oftentimes the feeling of wanting to write or, or the feeling of, of uh, having no idea is more powerful than reality. Do you know what I mean? You feel like it's really, 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 really ugh. But in actual fact, it's not that big of a deal. So you start writing. Another option is to go to randomwordgenerator.com. So sometimes I generate random words uh, and I just, I just click clicking, clicking generate, generate, generate. So I see a word that sparks something in me like, hey, and then I just write, see where that goes. Again, for actually for any habit or for anything you want to do, sometimes the getting started itself is the biggest hurdle. But once you get going, it's okay. And the second question is uh, about not having time to write. Okay, I understand that. So there are a few things we can look at. Number one, uh, people make time for things that are important to them. So most of us actually have... Uh, what's wrong with the video? Why does it look so weird? <laughs> most of us actually have time to do things that we want to. It's just that we might end up spending more time doing other things that are less important. For example, watching the television or uh, hanging out. Okay, that one depends on you. If you like hanging out with your friends, then fine. Uh, or sometimes we don't block time for something. So think about this. If you need to, if you need to go to the doctor for an appointment, you put it down on your calendar or you write it down somewhere. You make it known that, okay, from this day, on this day at this time, I'm going somewhere, I'm doing something. And it happens. So if you really, really want to do something, put it down in your calendar. It helps. Uh, but I also understand some of you are not, uh, some of you are still kids. You don't, you don't really have like a calendar and stuff, so that's fine. So the other suggestion I have is for you to write micro uh, pieces, tiny, tiny pieces. An example of that could be a haiku. Haikus are short, but they are very fun to write and when you write a haiku successfully, it feels nice. Besides haikus, you can also just write one or two lines. Just a description of something or a thought that came in your head and a piece of imagination that has been running through your mind. Getting that down on paper can make you feel like, you know what? I wrote something today. And after a while, these little things add up. Or again, you might find that as you start writing these little things, you figure out that you can make more time for writing. And so that's what it is. Either way, I hope this has been slightly helpful to you. Uh, all the best. Keep writing. It's a long journey. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing else I can say. Okay, bye!